So I've covered a lot of American media, but Canadian media also has its issues. Now, I'm going to show you this HuffPost piece. And this story really just keeps getting better. I mean, once we get to the Twitter exchange, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let me just start, though. So this was this is a HuffPost piece about NDP leader Jagmeet Singh and his, I guess, in their mind, inability to raise money. So here's the title. Jagmeet Singh has attended one fundraiser this year despite NDP's money woes. The event cost participants $25 per ticket. Now, just from the title alone, we are already in a situation where this is not true. He's attended more fundraisers, but the way that they qualify fundraisers is a fundraiser technically has to be at least $200 a ticket to get in. He's only had one, which cost $25 a ticket, so that doesn't technically count as a fundraiser. So already at the headline, we are seeing misinformation. And the <laughs> the subheading here, the event cost participants $25 per ticket. That can be taken two different ways. I mean, I see that and I think, well, Jagmeet Singh, the NDP leader, he's speaking to, you know, your average person. That's why this very low dollar uh, ticket amount to get in. Um, but if you're viewing it from the way that this piece is written, as you're going to see, uh, Althea Raj looks at this and thinks, oh, he's not doing his job. He's only gone to one fundraiser and it was $25 a ticket. Oh my God, what a loser. I mean, that's how this is written, as, as you're going to see here. So let me just read the first three paragraphs and you're going to begin to get the idea of how this really is, is designed to be a hit piece. As the federal NDP struggles to find its financial footing, the party says it's, it is completely normal that its leader, Jagmeet Singh, has participated in only one $25 fundraiser fundraising activity this year. That news, however, doesn't sit well with Sven Robinson, former longtime MP who has decided to run again. Are you serious? Since the beginning of this year, Robinson responded when informed of the leader's fundraising activities. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, this is the direction they're taking this article. Instead of saying, well, Jagmeet Singh is actually changing his strategy, speaking to the average person, not relying on these private face-to-face -face fundraisers with, these, with these, uh, these wealthy donors that may impact his politics, they're taking it in the complete other direction. Oh, he's not doing his job. Now, Sven Robinson here, it's important to point out, he is a, uh, so he's a long-time, or former long-time MP, and the reason he left politics is because he stole a diamond ring. I'm not joking. <laughs> you could look that up. Now, Sven Robinson, his politics is, he seems to be generally, a, you know, a progressive dude, a left-wing guy, but absolutely, there is some strategy in this. Because there is the potential that if Jagmeet Singh and the NDP don't perform well in this upcoming election, that there will be another leadership race. And Sven Robinson would definitely be running for the leadership. So there could be, you know, some strategy here in terms of why Sven Robinson is allowing his quotes to be in this article or why he even said any of this. Now, let me get to um this. So kind of the, the centerpiece of this article that they don't really focus too much on, but I'll tell you why this is important. Quote, a $25 event in London, Fanshawe, is the only ticket event the leader took part in. There were other events at which donations were made, he, he added, but the events were free to attend. So, this is the most important piece of this entire article. Jagmeet Singh has attended other fundraisers, as it says in the damn article. <laughs> but the title of the article tries to construe otherwise. And as we all know, most people don't read the full article. They'll see the headline. And the impression from the headline immediately communicates, oh, Jagmeet Singh isn't doing any work. He's not having any fundraisers, which is not true. Jagmeet Singh has been having fundraisers, but they've been free to attend or been the one $25 event in, uh, in London. So what this does, as I kind of talked about already, is this now a lot... Okay, let me phrase this a, a different way. When you attend these private fundraisers with large donors, say $200, even, even though that's the low end, $200, that's still a, a lot of money for a lot of people, $200 to $1,600 a person, 
that's going to have an impact on you as a politician. When you're in these closed door private fundraisers, face to face with these wealthy donors giving you a lot of money, you're going to start to see their worldview. That will have an impact on you. That will make you think differently about Canada in general. You'll start looking at politics through their eyes. You'll start taking on their worldview. It will affect your politics. This is just natural, uh, completely natural, because that's human nature. It's human nature to be impacted by your environment. But understand, these fundraisers, we're talking about 1% of people in the country. The vast majority of people cannot and do not attend these private fundraisers. So when you attend multiple of these, it's going to begin to have an impact on your worldview that is separate from what 99% of people experience. That is why I think it is a good thing that Jagmeet Singh is not going to these fundraisers. But the liberals and the conservatives did. So in this article, it details some of that. So the liberals have had 53 past and planned events that range from $200 to $1,600 a ticket. The conservatives have had seven events so far, ranging from uh, 250 to 1600 And then, so after the article lists <laughs> the details from the liberals and the conservatives and all the money they've raised, it then goes to this quote. It doesn't seem right, responded Robinson, the star candidate who served in the Commons from 1979 to 2004. Robinson said he assumed Singh would be hitting the fundraising circuit. Quote, I'm shocked, actually. $25 from January 1st until now. I'm going to ask some questions. Now, <laughs> the actual story out of this piece is that Sven Robinson is publicly going after the leader of the NDP when he is running to be an MP in the NDP. So, like, the, the, that's the story here. The story isn't that Jagmeet Singh is... I, I mean, that is a story that Jagmeet Singh is only um having, you know, small dollar fundraisers. But... It's also a story that you have somebody who stole a diamond ring, which is why he had to leave politics, talking about how Jugmeet Singh is not having enough uh, fundraisers with, with, with wealthy donors. I mean, that is a story in itself. Now, let's get to my favorite piece, though, of this entire thing. And that's the this exchange on Twitter. So it starts with this. Jennifer Purdy uh, tweets out, it's unfortunate that there isn't as much support as there should be for Mr. Singh's principled stand that people shouldn't have to pay to see him. Yet another example why political fundraising should be revamped. Now, Althea Raj, the author of the HuffPost piece, replies saying, At no point in the last month that I've asked about this, or ever, has the NDP said this is a principled stand. This comment is from a Green, but also worth noting to NDPers that you're boxing your leader in, uh, in t into not doing big-ticketed fundraisers in an election year. Okay. So, <laughs> Althea Raj says here that the NDP has not told her that this is a principled stance. Cut to her article in HuffPost about Jugmeet Singh not doing fundraisers. She wrote this. Jesse Calvert, the NDP's director of operations, said the party's strategy differs from the liberals or conservatives who charge their supporters for the privilege of speaking with and hearing their leader. Quote, as Jugmeet tours the country, we bring donors and supporters together to speak with him, ask him questions and listen to his vision. We don't believe anyone should have to pay admission for this privilege. After speaking with the leader, those who are able uh, able to can choose to make a contribution. In her own piece, she wrote, after speaking with the director of operations of the NDP, Althea Raj wrote in her piece that this is a pr essentially a principled stance for the NDP, that this is a, a difference in strategy for them. So clearly it is a choice. I mean... <laughs> for the author of the piece to go on Twitter defending her article saying that I never heard, the NDP hasn't told me anything. I mean, I clearly this is just about Jugmeet Singh not doing his job. So don't tell me this is a principled stance for the NDP. I've heard nothing about this. It's in your damn piece. I uh, this is hilarious. Now, I just want <laughs> I just want to show you uh the kind of crap the NDP is getting. Now look, I've told you many times before, in 2015, I ran as a Green Party candidate. I'm either going to likely vote NDP or Green. I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to wait and see. But um, I just want to show you the kind of crap that that the that Jugmeet Singh and the NDP is getting from completely different sides of the spectrum. So this is based on the NDP's uh, platform so far. So the the Financial Post has this uh, article titled "The NDP's New Tax the Rich Plan Is Terrible," even by their standards. Negative economic effects of its uh, proposed confiscatory taxation are greatly worsened by the fact that it would be an administrative nightmare. So this piece in the Financial Post goes after the fact that the NDP want to tax the wealthy more, which I think is a great thing. They think it's a bad thing. But the complete other side of that is this article from the Tai. Uh, the moderate NDP hasn't worked. Let's resurrect the Regina Manifesto. The CCF NDP has buried its radical roots and in the process become irrelevant. So this is a piece that I actually largely, I got to say, agree with that goes in the other direction, saying that the NDP is not radical enough. So you have one article saying the NDP is way too radical. Another article saying the NDP isn't at all radical. <laughs> I mean, they really can't win. So just to give you an idea of the kind of coverage the NDP gets, this is par for the course for them. I mean... I, I'm not sure if I've seen one positive piece about Jagmeet Singh or or the NDP, uh, at least recently, l leading up to the, this election in the fall. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see if anything changes. But, I mean, the idea, just to go back to the beginning, <laughs> the idea that having no big dollar private fundraisers, face-to-face -face meetings with wealthy donors, that not having those is somehow a bad thing, to me, is just absolutely hilarious.